In this video, we'll be exploring the entire Alien timeline based on the main canon from the movies, but also some video games etc where they are confirmed to be canon to the movies. Usually, the AVP movies are considered non-canon, but I chose to include them here as I like them, or at least the first one, so I wanted to include them, but if you don't want to consider those as belonging to the main Alien storyline, then just disregard any references to them here. Thanks for tuning in, and let's begin. 4 billion to 2 million BC, the engineers visit Earth, a chosen individual consumes a bowl of black goo, causing his body to break down and reconstructing it to create human life. 35,000 BC Evidence of the engineers appears on a cave painting in Scotland. 3000 BC The predators build pyramids in Antarctica using xenomorphs as their prey. 1st century AD Dissatisfied with their creation, the engineers prepare a juggernaut ship carrying a payload of black goo on a base on the planet LV-223 to send to Earth to destroy humanity. The pathogen escapes containment, leading to an outbreak. During the chaos, an engineer is decapitated by a sliding door. 1904 an alien fights a predator inside the Razorback Point whaling station on Bovatoy Island, Antarctica, during a Youngblood Predator's blooding ritual. 1990, Peter Wayland is born. 2004, a heat plume is detected by a Wayland satellite. Charles Wayland recruits a team of experts to explore the source, a Yauja pyramid. The entire team is killed with the exception of Lex Woods. A pred alien emerges from the body of the last predator and causes a scout ship to crash in Colorado, USA, where the wolf predator arrived to clean up the wreckage and contain the xenomorph outbreak. A bomb is dropped on the town, eradicating all evidence, barring a predator shoulder cannon which is given to Miss Utani of the Utani Corporation. 2023 Peter Wayland gives a TED talk outlining his intent to build the first convincingly humanoid robotic system by the end of the decade. 2030s, Wayland creates David, an android with the ability to both think for itself and to create. 2039, Wayland Corp invents the first atmosphere processor. 2080s, Doctors Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway discover a star map in a cave on the Isle of Skye, Scotland, UK. 2091. The US CSS Prometheus space exploration ship leaves Earth for LV-223. The 7th of January 2092. Ellen Ripley is born. 2093. The Prometheus reaches LV-223. The crew discover the engineer base and are exposed to the pathogen. The last engineer is awoken and attacks the remaining members of the Wayland expedition. All but two crew members are killed. The engineer is facehugged by the trilobite, creating the Deacon. Shaw and David use an engineer ship to find the engineer's home world. 2094. Shaw rebuilds David and the two arrive at Paradise, a planet home to millions of engineers, or possibly another engineer-created species like humans. He deploys the black goo payload to destroy the entire population. David kills Elizabeth Shaw and begins further experimentation with the black goo using Dr. Shaw's body and the engineer's DNA. 2090s. David successfully creates strains of reverse-engineered xenomorphs called Neomorphs and Protomorphs. 2099. Wayland Corporation and the Utani Corporation merge to create Wayland Utani. 2101. The United States Colonial Marine Corps is established. 2104. Covenant, a ship carrying thousands of colonists, intercepts a radio signal and decide to divert to it instead of their original destination. The Covenant's crew explore the planet and are exposed to an airborne form of the pathogen, creating two Neomorphs. 
While under attack from the Neomorphs, they come into contact with David. David battles Walter, taking his place among the Covenant's crew. Both Protomorphs are killed, and only a couple of crew members survive. Among them are Daniels and David, who reveals himself as Daniels enters hypersleep. David smuggles Xenomorph embryos on board the Covenant, intending to create a Xenomorph Queen. 2112, Amanda Ripley is born. 2120, the space towing vessel Nostromo leaves Earth. 2122, the Nostromo detects what is thought to be a distress signal and lands on planetoid LV-426, discovering the derelict. After being infected by a facehugger, Executive Officer Kane dies when a xenomorph bursts through his chest. The alien kills the entire crew except for Ellen Ripley. The Nostromo self-destructs and Ripley blasts the alien into space. Ellen Ripley enters hypersleep aboard the Narcissus and awaits rescue. Drifting through space, the Xenomorph survives by cocooning itself in hive resin and entering a state of hibernation. It is found by Weyland Jutani and brought aboard the Renaissance station. Scientists clone the specimen and extract the black goo from it, intending to use it to aid man's colonisation efforts in space. The alien awakes and wipes out most of the station before being shot and killed. 2137. Ellen Ripley's daughter, Amanda, learns the flight recorder of the Nostromo has been located. She joins a team and travels on the Torrens spaceship to Sevastopol Station, which has been infested with xenomorphs. The lone survivor of the station, she escapes Sevastopol and is rescued by a passing vessel. 2142, a group of young colonists, including Rain and her synthetic brother Andy, from the Jackson Star Mining Colony, board the Renaissance Station to find hypersleep vessels so they can travel to another planet. They discover it was experimenting on xenomorphs and all but Rain and Andy are killed. A human-alien hybrid called the Offspring is created from the black goo and is ejected into the planet ring by Rain. Rain and Andy set course for their new home. 2150s, the Hadley's Hope colony is constructed on LV-426. 2151, Dwayne Hicks is born. The 23rd of December, 2178, Amanda Ripley dies from cancer at the age of 66. 2179, after 57 years in stasis, Ellen Ripley is rescued by a salvage team. She returns to LV-426 as an advisor to a joint Weyland yutani uscm search team after contact with the Hadley's Hope colony is lost. After travelling there on the Sulaco, the colony is found to have been overtaken by xenomorphs and most of the group are killed except for Ripley, Hicks, Newt and Bishop. An alien queen is found to be the leader of the hive and stows away on the Sulaco, but is ejected from the airlock by Ripley. An egg has somehow made its way onto the Sulaco, and a facehugger emerges and burns its way into Ripley's pod and impregnates her as she sleeps. The burning acid triggers the fire alarm, and the stasis units are ejected, landing near a penal colony on Fiorina 161. A runner alien type is born and attacks the inhabitants. Ripley kills the alien, then sacrifices her own life by falling into a furnace, ending herself as well as the Queen Chestburster inside her. 2349. Due to a change in legislation, mega corporations like Weyland Yutani begin to be banned. The company appeals the decision and fights a three year legal battle. 2352, the ban is upheld and the Weyland Yutani Corporation disbands. The US military takes over the majority of their research and development. 2379, the United Systems military clone Ripley and the chest burster from medical samples taken from Fiorina 161. They surgically remove the queen in order to breed xenomorphs which escape killing many. Due to side effects of the cloning process, the cloned queen gives birth to the newborn hybrid. The Auriga crashes into Earth's atmosphere. 
the Ripley clone escapes aboard the Betty with a group of smugglers and lands on what was Paris, France. 